Okay. Yes, uh, my name is uh, Azanzi Jomekon. I am from University of Yamdi. I'm a researcher there, and I'm working on knowledge management. Then I'm working on methodology, method and tools to acquire knowledge, to represent knowledge, to share knowledge among stakeholders in, in an organization. Then my research field is uh, the semantic web, and uh, it aims to, to to make internet more more readable, more uh, more machine readable, and I'm working. And during this uh, during this creation, I particularly work on on two D learning. In fact, to make the internet more more machine readable, uh, semantic web provides ontologies, and to construct these ontologies, knowledge must be acquired from knowledge uh, from knowledge sources. Uh, it can be acquired from domain experts, or when domain experts not available. It can be acquired from uh, knowledge sources such as text, such as databases, such as images and videos. And during this creation, I particularly work on the domain of ontology learning, but my broader research domain is uh, the semantic web. And I'm working on, uh, on the construction of uh, ontologies and, and on, the, on the population of ontology to obtain knowledge hub and the construction of no, um, semantic web toolkits so, such as uh, semantic wiki and semantic search engines. Then, uh, what was done during this comparison? I work particularly on ontology learning from structured sources such as databases, XML documents, stakeholders, and also on ontology learning from some structured sources such as source code for folkosonomies, and ontology learning from unstructured sources such as videos and images. And during this work, I, I identified the main uh, properties that the papers con uh, related to ontology learning contain, and I created a template. Then I'm going to present this template to you. Then uh, here is this template. Let me click on it and open it. Then the, the goal to when I create the goal when I was creating this template was to provide to fellow researchers and to myself a tool that I'm going to use to explore the papers related to ontology learning. Thus, I identify the main element, the main properties that can be interesting for people about uh, about it. Then. Uh, as you can see here, we have many properties. The first thing when uh, you are working on ontology learning is which knowledge source are you using to extract knowledge? Then after, uh, which purpose Which purpose are you using? Uh, which is the learning purpose? Are you extracting knowledge? Are you acquiring knowledge for, to, to construct a new ontology or to populate an, an ontology? Or you are just doing for research? And I provide the, 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 the description for many of these properties. Then, uh, which is your application domain? Are you extracting knowledge uh, to consult a medical ontology or to 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 consult uh, education uh, an ontology for the education domain? And which is your data source? Then general, generally, the authors use uh, a data source, and from this data source, they selected some data set subset of these data sources. And from the data set, you can have your training corpus. I have the, the description there and the testing and the testing corpus. Then uh, after you select your data source, you can have the input format. You can have a, 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 an HTML document, for, exa for example, and transform the HTML document in XML in order to provide to your extraction tool. And that's why I add here the input format. The output format can be RDF or WS course, and then you have the learning method. Which method are you using? Are you using natural, natural, language, natural language processing, machine learning? deep learning method to learn uh, to extract your knowledge. Which tool are you using? Some, some authors use existing tools or they develop some tools to, to extract knowledge and some tools are available. Then uh, this tool can be provided here. Let me provide here. Uh, are you implementing your own tool and then you can give technology so, so that um, other people can see which technology are used to, to develop tools to extract this kind of knowledge. After the presentation of this element, we have now the, if the knowledge that are extracted. We can have the extraction of simple terms, of simple terms from the, from, from the knowledge. And these terms are all, only the word or phrases to describe something in the, in the knowledge source. We can also have the, the, the extraction of class. Generally, the terms can be transformed into class, into relationships, into relationship between classes, into properties. And, as, and, uh, and, and also we can identify actions so, 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 so that, uh, for, for example, the, the restriction, we can restrict class or properties. We also, we can also extract some rules because some data source contain rules and these rules can be extracted. 
from source code, for example, you can have the if this happen, then this else, and so on. Yes, we can also extract instances from data sources, and and, and uh, particularly some papers present the extraction of taxonomies and the class hierarchy, the particular taxonomy, class hierarchy, property hierarchy. And after the extraction, some papers propose the evaluation of uh, knowledge extracted, and uh, we define here the evaluation metric. Uh, some papers also propose the validation by, the tool, by, by some tools and some comments on the validation. Now, the knowledge extracted can be assessed either by the knowledge expert or by gold standard. For example, a medical ontology, a medical knowledge extracted from a, 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 a medical book can be compared to a gold standard to an ontology download from your portal. But another method is the is the comparison is the, the, the validation by a, a domain expert. I also add the related work. Related work here is about the papers that the current paper that you are working on cited. And, and here we have we have the recall, we have the precision, we have the F major then. Then from this template, I built my best comparison. I call it my best comparison because uh, it come up from a template that other people can use and reuse. You share a common property. Then this is this comparison. I'm opening it. Okay, this ontology is this comparison is about ontology learning from from images. And in this work, the, I found two papers related to this subject, and I provide information. I provide information on different purposes. So, so for example, the data source that they are using, the research problem. I keep the research problem because uh, I worked on many, uh, on, on ontology learning from images, from focosonomies, from thesaurus, and so on. Then I'm keeping it in all my comparison. Then when, what is your knowledge source? Then uh, the learning method, which learning are you use, which, which, me which method are you using to learn your knowledge? And which is the learning purpose? the number of concepts, some papers. The second paper provides the number of concepts that they learn according to different data set because the second paper use many data sets, as you can see here, they are, they are using building, they use a huge data source. And from this data source, they use the building data set, the city landscape, the country, uh, the garden. Then uh, we can also have the property learning, which properties are the author saying that they are extracting from the knowledge source and the relationships and the terms, which term, because some authors only present the terms and didn't provide if they are classes, properties, and so on. And the application domain here, the assessment of knowledge extracted. For example, here, this, these authors are assessing their knowledge with a domain expert who is there to validate if the knowledge is really knowledge of the, the domain. And and, and, and the end, you have the related work, you have the testing corpus, and you have these evaluation metrics here, which the second paper provided by data set. Then they provide for the building, for the city landscape, for the country, for the garden data set, and so on and so forth. Yes. Here, how you can see here, you have the testing corpus and the training corpus. The, the, here they provide, this is the, the, the general information about this second paper. And there you can have, here you have the, the the, the data source here, you have the ontology learning, the, the research problem, of course, the knowledge source. Now you have the learning method, all the method that they are saying they are learning, that they are using in the, in, in the, in the paper. Now, the, what is the learning purpose, the ontology construction? They want to use um, the knowledge extract to construct a new ontology. Here you have the properties that they, are, that, that they have learned, for example, object property, data property, and the relationship that they say they have learning, and the terms. And also, they are learning class hierarchy, and they are providing the output format here is is uh, is our light. And here you have the data set from the huge data source. They are using 1,334 images, and so on. Okay, then um, my future work. In reality, I'm, I'm it's, that's an ongoing work on ontology learning domains, and it remains ontology learning from video data sources and ontology learning from text. But I'm planning also to explore the domain of ontology engineering, uh, which compare papers about uh, ontology re-engineering, ontology mapping, ontology alignment, and, and so and so on. Thank you for your attention.
Thank you, Azanzi. Very nice. I especially like that you used the templates and also showed uh, the templates. So okay. are there any other are there any questions to Azanzi from the audience? Is that a question? No, so so I had I have a question or two. Uh, could you comment on how you were? Uh, what was your strategy for adding content to the OYKG? Did you have a certain procedure that you always used, or a certain tool uh, from the OYKG tools that you used for adding data? Uh, to add data, I I was just reading papers and using my block note to take notes. And after taking notes, I went in ORKG and, uh, and I, I create the comparison. First of all, the first thing I was doing was to create the comparison and to add information uh, progressively. But I realized that when I lost the link of the comparison, my comparison is lost. And that's why when, when they show me how to create the, the template, I didn't hesitate. I create my template so that when I finish a paper, I, I finish to read the paper. I go there, I add all the research elements that I extracted from the papers, and I keep it so that uh, when I finish my research, my, when I finish my review, then I just go back to, to create now the comparison and now to add the, all the papers that I, that I created, I'm sorry, that, added, that I added using the templates. That was it. Then first, I create, I, I create the, the, the properties. I identify all the properties in the papers and I add the paper in the template and I use the template after it to create my comparison. And that's the reason why uh, I propose to create, uh, uh, to, to, to import papers using CSV format because sometimes I'm using a LibreOffice calc in, in, in Ubuntu in order to enter my data. And after I go, to, I have to go back in the ORKG and type my data, then I'm typing twice. Uh, sometimes three times because sometimes I'm keeping information on my notebook. I go going back to 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 calc to type it, and after when I have to work on ORKG, go back to ORKG, and it was not really really easy to me then. Mm -hmm. That's the process. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you.